Oh, wait, I got beer and wine for tonight, too. Thanks, but if you want to do me a favor, tell Robin to stop her amateur sleuthing. <sighs> yeah. The elevator door's closed before I could get on. Well, what did you expect to happen? Do you think it was just going to hit her handbag and the murder weapon was going to fall out? Or better yet, maybe she was just going to confess to murdering her husband's mistress? For your information, people get very nervous on elevators and they make verbal slips. Really, Robin? Andrea is way too cool of a customer for that. I have an advantage. I know she's the murderer, but she doesn't know that I know that. Okay, listen. It's very sweet that you're trying to prove Alexis's innocence, but we need to leave this to professionals. Wait a minute. A second ago, you had my back, and... Did my Uncle Max say something to no, you? No, Mac didn't say now anything. Now you're lying to your wife. You should I'm be ashamed of yourself. I'm not lying to you. But I know that Mac is worried about you, and so am I. Someone was murdered, and they would do it again to make sure that they didn't get caught. It's nice of you to be concerned. Robin, please, stop. I can't. I can't let Alexis take the fall for something that she didn't do. Andrea Floyd is the killer, and I will prove that. Chris, do you think Emma's going to be up in time for dinner? I don't know. She's pretty zonked. And as much as I love my adorable daughter, it is much easier to not have her at the dinner table trying to keep her strapped into her high chair the entire time. So I hope Patrick is able to put her down for a nap. Hey, Lulu, could you take this to the kitchen? I'm not your servant. Uh, and maybe pour some glass of wine. Okay, what's going on? Okay. So Spinelli asked me to marry him, and I couldn't give him an answer, but he took the ring. So he kind of sort of thinks that we're engaged, and he already tried to ask Mac once for my hand in marriage, and I'm really worried he's going to do it again, which, as you know, would be disastrous. Do you want to marry Spinelli? No, but it's nothing personal. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I'm, I'm madly in love with Spinelli. I'm just not a big believer in marriage. You know that. So the question is, how do I keep Mac from having a nuclear meltdown without breaking Spinelli's heart? Easy. Do nothing. Okay, so let's assume that Spinelli does ask Uncle Mac for a hand in marriage. What do you think he'll do? Completely freak out and arrest Spinelli. Let's assume he just does what he normally does. Uh, okay. He would tell me that I deserve better, forbid me from marrying Spinelli, and then try to ship me off to Switzerland. Exactly. Okay, I'm trying to keep Mac from freaking out in here. Hold on a second. Think it through. I won't be the one turning Spinelli down. Mac will. So I don't have to break Spinelli's heart. Mac can do that, and then I can tell Spinelli that I'm sorry, and I love him more than anything, but I could never go against Mac's wishes. And, and we could still be together, we just wouldn't be able to get married. See? Sometimes a solution is right in front of you. I love that plan. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> okay, but you might have to give the ring back. One step at a time. You're a genius. I know. So you'll tell Mac about the engagement at dinner? Me? Robin, please. Mac is better at taking bad news from you. Okay, but there is no way to sugarcoat this. He does not like Spinelli. Because Spinelli works for Jason, and Mac is so over-the-top protective, he can't see what a wonderful, kind person Spinelli is. Which is good, because I want him to forbid me from marrying Spinelli. Yes, so you can tell him. You can handle this. I can't. I, um, she could be right. Maybe Mac would be more receptive if you told him the news. What news? Uh, Spinelli, Spinelli wants to marry Maxie. Maxie. Mac will have him arrested, I know, from personal experience. Well, he actually handcuffed you and said that he would arrest you if you didn't marry me. Which I will be forever grateful. See, Aww. you guys already know how to handle this whole Mac thing, so please, Robin. How did I get in the middle of this? Well, you're the grown-up and responsible one. Which is why you should be the one to tell Mac. Tell me what? Um, they were all out of Dutch apple pie, so I had to get you the regular. And for that, Robin had to break the news? You know how I hate to disappoint you. You know, I can't be disappointed tonight. I'm surrounded by family. Plus Lulu, nice to see you. But, uh, minus my adorable grandniece, where's Emma? Upstairs, taking a nap. Oh, I'll bring her down when she wakes up. Beer, Mac? Thank you. Anybody want wine? Please. Okay. Uh, 
So, uh, Maxine, why don't you give Uncle Mac the big news? It's not that big of a deal. He wouldn't be interested. What are you talking about? Of course I'm interested. What is it? I got a promotion at Crimson. That's great. That's great news. You've been working so hard for that. Just don't forget to make time for family, okay? I mean, you're going to be so busy with Crimson now. I'll get it. Hey, greetings. Um, is the proud patriarch here? He's here all right here. You're going to need this. Oh, actually, it's not necessary. I'm fueled by the intoxication of love. Uh, well, good luck with that. What are you doing here? Uh, they're, they're gladiolus. A suitably manly flower. Uh, the name is derived from the diminutive of, of, of gladius, the Latin word for sword. Also, this is a family gathering, Spinelli. I, I just, I just request a moment of your attention. That's that's all. Um, Spinelli, maybe you should do this another time. Do what another time? What's going on? Remember what Robin said. Just let this play out. I, I, I come bearing more than just manly flowers. I, Damien Spinelli, with profound love in my heart, do request of the proud patriarch. This can't be happening. With, with deepest respect and greatest humility. No, don't even think about it. The hand of your lovely daughter in matrimony. <laughs>